Hey YouTube, Fired Up Trucker here. Fired Up Trucker here. What's up YouTube? Big day today. Big, 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 big day today. Today is May 30th, 2015. Day 13 total of my night CDL school and day nine and a half of actual class, school, whatever, and today was a big day. I tested out on my road test, and I'm good. I'm good. Good. Anyway, felt good to, uh, to get that confidence back. Uh, I've never had any, just a, my quick story, uh, never driven big rigs, 18-wheelers, semis before, but I have driven big trucks. I And I drove when I was working for a company called Victory Lighting where I used to work on, uh, you know, exterior lights, signs, building signs, uh, parking lot lights, stuff like that. I had a little automatic, you know, I think 42-foot uh, bucket truck that I drove most of the time. But the, uh, I guess I could stop bouncing that because you can hear that, right? <laughs> uh, but they bought a big, uh, bigger bucket truck, and it had a 10-speed. And basically, my, uh, the way they taught me to shift the gears was says, here's the shift pattern, good luck. <laughs> and that was it. But I figured it out, and I drove that truck all around DFW, working on lights, signs, whatever. So, uh, you know, I kind of had an idea. Uh, I had heard of double clutching, didn't know what it was uh, before I actually did it. I watched several videos on YouTube several times. And so I had the idea, clutch in, neutral, clutch in, or clutch in, neutral, clutch out, you know, uh, gear. Clutch in, neutral, clutch in, gear. Whatever. Uh, so... But that was the only thing that uh, that he really had bad to not bad to say, but said, "Hey, you know, during your CDL test, you just want to work on double clutching. You know, don't be single clutching or floating or whatever." So whatever I was doing when I was driving that bucket truck, I didn't know what I was doing. I just knew that I could go through the gears, flip the switch, go to high, get through the gears, and do whatever. And I never got any accidents. I did fine. I was always driving, driving good. But anyway, so. Very relieved, uh, very gratifying. Now, um, I've been, I came back to the hotel about 12 o'clock. My bus isn't till 10 tonight, so uh, gonna head there about 7.30, have the shuttle drop me off, get there early, get checked in, and make sure I can get in the front of the line and get a good seat so I don't get stuck like last time. Make sure I get a power strip on my seat. Uh, but I'm excited, man. It felt good. Uh, yesterday, uh, when we first went out, uh, there's a road in front. I think I mentioned this on the video yesterday that I did. Uh, you know, it's just about a quarter mile long, maybe more. And just basically was, you know, going through the shifting and stuff. And, and I love the way Daniel teaches when he's in the truck with you. I mean, he's very patient. He knows exactly what's going on when you're, when you're going through it. But I was doing pretty good. I mean, yeah, I had some issues here and there but for the most part it was pretty good so I felt good about it yesterday and I felt that if I got out on the road today that I could that I would be comfortable doing that and at one point well yesterday he said man that's excellent that's exactly where I need everybody to be as far as you know their timing and everything so that made me feel good and then today uh, basically he said you know at one point, I, I did a sharp left turn where I had to, you know, go straight out and kind of like when you're doing a right turn sometimes and go back in, but I had to do that on a left turn that was pretty sharp. And he's like, man, you handle this like a big rig driver. So, you know, so I felt good and got through it and did some highway, did some city driving, uh, I don't know, four or five right-hand turns. Uh, and I felt good the whole time. I didn't hit any curbs. I didn't you know, mess anything up and uh, got everybody safe, back safe, and got the truck back safe. So I felt good. So he said, look, you're good to go. There's no reason why you can't go past that test in Texas. And uh, so that's the next thing. One more thing done. You know, knock one more thing off the list. Uh, it was a, 
Was it a great experience the whole way? No, because you've seen the video that I made the other day. But that was a culmination of not just being here and not just the school. It was a combination of, you know, just everything. Just wanting something to go right, wanting one person to do their job. So that was that was what that was about. It wasn't dogging the school or, or whatever. But uh, for the most part, you know, hey, I got through it. And hopefully, I believe that it will be enough to you know, help me pass my CDL test so I can get out on the road with the trainer where the real stuff will begin. And I appreciate everybody's comments on the other, on the one the other day. Uh, what else? You know, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home, take a few days off, and then I'll probably check in with the, I'll probably check in with the terminal Monday anyway, let them know how it went, because uh, they were interested when they called the other day. And then I'll probably take a couple days off and then see if they want me to go, you know, riding around with someone, get some more city driving and some more backing and stuff like that in an actual work situation. But they said the guy drives an automatic, not a, not a manual, but whatever. Hopefully I can talk them into finding, an, you know, a manual somewhere that I can get in and, and work on before my test. Two weeks away, two and a half weeks away on the test. Uh, what else? Excited about getting home, seeing my wife, my lovely wife, my dogs, Cooper, Olivia. Tomorrow I get to see my grandboys, and uh, life is good. You know, just get through this bus ride tonight. But basically, so what, I need to put that down. It's bugging me, too. Let me take a drink first. Uh, Next goal is to get the CDL test passed. First time. No messing around. I passed it when I first time when I took my B CDL. CDL, whatever. Class B CDL. Back in the 90s. I uh, had a short stint with Bluebell. I don't know if I ever... I think I mentioned that on a video before. But I didn't upkeep it when it came time for it to be renewed. And I should have. But, you know, whatever. Uh, and then it... My goal, my goal, and I'm not trying to rush things. Believe me, I'm not trying to rush things. I know there's a lot to learn. But I know that I have confidence in, in you know, that part of it. And I know that that's going to grow in the shifting and the city driving and the highway driving and all that. Uh, and I know that it's diff you know, having a trailer and a big rig and everything is different than a bucket truck. But, you know, it would be nice if uh, I was comfortable enough and came along good enough. And my trainer thinks I came along good enough and I was ready to test out in four weeks instead of six if it happens it happens if it doesn't six weeks eight weeks what you know whatever we're on track to getting the whole thing done anyway gotta hurry up getting to the end of my memory probably on my phone here uh, appreciate y'all watching i won't be making a video on the bus uh but i will make a video every day and until i don't make videos no more so uh i will be home sunday i'll probably make one tomorrow about the bus ride hopefully i just sleep through the whole thing and hopefully we don't encounter any tragic weather and flooding and all that. But uh, anyway, get down below, give me some comments, come over to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Uh, find me on Facebook, Jim W. Hammonds, and join Fired Up Truckers Group on Facebook, Fired Up Truckers Group. And we'll see you on the next video. Fired Up!